Hello everyone, welcome to Anthropology Analytica. I am Dr. Arjun Bopanna, Anthropology faculty at Insights IAS. Uh, in today's video, let us discuss this particular question. Uh, critically discuss the contribution of Ruth Benedict to the study of culture. So as you all know, Ruth Benedict is one of the anthropologists who contributed towards studying the uh, impact of culture on personality and personality on culture. So her main contribution is how personality of members of a culture shapes the uh, culture of that particular society. All right. So in that context, let's try to understand the structure of this particular question. So your answer should first start with a brief introduction to Ruth Benedict uh, about her uh, basic background and what is her contribution, etc. Then we start with her contribution towards culture pattern. So this is her basic uh, contribution towards the study of culture. So she says that culture is a kind of a pattern. It has a configuration. So we need to mention that culture pattern and configuration. We like to also talk about the basic personality configuration, which she talks about in which she discusses about the two kinds of geniuses that are there in uh, uh, in the personality of members of a society. So that is your Apollonian genius and Dionysian genius. So Apollonian characterized by peace, discipline and kindness and Dionysian con uh, is characterized by conflict, competition, combat, violence and deceit. So we need to explain this and explain it in uh, with giving example in her study among the Zuni Red Indians and Kwakiti Red Indians. So while explaining these concepts by giving these examples, you have to bring out what Ruth Benedict tried to explain that how the personality of uh, a society uh, shapes the culture of that particular society. So based on the configuration of uh, the um, uh, personality of the members of the society, uh, the culture uh, of the society gets shaped. So her study basically illustrated how numerous aspects of life in culture reinforce the basic personality of culture. So this has to be brought out in your answer. Then uh, in the conclusion, because it is a critically discussed question, you'll also have to write the criticism okay, to this idea. So how uh, following further studies, uh, many anthropologists have actually uh, disagreed with this idea that not everybody belongs to the same personality in a particular culture. So that critical note also has to be mentioned in your answer. All right. So this is the structure of your answer, a brief introduction to Ruth Benedict. So her idea, her concept of culture pattern uh, in form of configuration, the basic personality configuration, the two types of genius, which uh, she says is uh, mainly the personality character of a particular group of people and then her study among the Zunis and Kwakiti Red Indians. All right, let's see some of the basic points that has to be mentioned in your answer. So the concept of culture pattern. So basic premise of her theory is that culture is like a piece of weaving in which colored strand form distinctive and recognizable pattern. So this she calls it as configuration. So in every culture, there is a central summative principle or genesis or soul, which she calls it as each. And everything else uh, in the society, the personality, etc., is uh, is uh, patterned around this ethos. Okay, around it are satellites. Together with ethos and the satellites, they constitute the configuration. How do we identify or how do we get to know this culture configuration by identifying the personality of the individual who is born and who? Uh, reared in that particular society. So by studying the personality of individuals of that particular society, we will be able to determine the culture of that particular society, right? So this she calls it as basic personality configuration. All right. So uh, you'll have to explain some uh, you know, points relating to the basic personality configuration as shown in this particular slide. So culture trade, according to her, as you uh, know, is the smallest and the single element of a or a single element of a culture organized around some nuclear point of reference. This together constitute your culture complex. So the trait and complex together forms the culture pattern. So therefore, culture can be viewed as consisting of culture configuration integrated under the dominomy, uh, domination of one general master plan. So uh, this basic uh, uh, personality configuration, okay, helps us to uh, understand the culture because the personality configuration reflects culture. 
so this reflects the culture of a society and then you need to explain it through uh, your uh, examples of zuni where zunis have uh, apollonian uh, personality where they are very cooperative there is no excessive in life they seek equality and do not like to stand out as superior so this in turn shapes other aspects of culture see for example their marriage uh, ceremonies are very simple and casual priests in those society they are uh, they enjoy a very low key death is not an occasion of uh, uh you know uh, big long term mourning it is considered as a small event so this way zuni's personality is reflected in their culture similarly on the other hand coquetties so uh, red indians so they have a frenzied outlook their uh, personality is frenzied excessive being the rule and uh, among there the ideal man is one who has powerful uh, you know has more power and try to gain more power and tries to prove his superiority so this in turn reflects the culture of that society for example the child rearing in uh, coquetty red indians they reinforce this pattern there is uh, too much of uh, ceremonies and excess being the rule in almost all these ceremonies like for example initiation ceremony is again characterized by excess in the coquetty red indians so by giving these examples you should be able to show how basic personality configuration of a society reflects the culture of the society okay so that is the next aspect of your answer all right so over here uh, benedict therefore tries to make distinction between two kinds of personality which she calls it as genius she calls it as apollonian and uh, dionysian you'll have to write about it and as i explained now okay so you have to uh, give these examples and try to uh, substantiate these argument okay so uh, this is uh, uh, the basic contribution of uh, ruth benedict towards understanding the culture of the society and then you can also write a critical note of uh, uh, ruth benedict in specific points and also in general the uh, criticism of culture personality school of thought so if you write all these points your answer is going to be comprehensive is that okay uh, so at the end the conclusion may you should also mention that the study her study reveals how uh, the personality influences the culture culture differs among different group because the members have different personality okay and culture are integrated they have pattern and these pattern can be conceived in terms of typical personality type so this is the conclusion to your answer so uh, you need to write in this uh, manner your answer should have this particular flow okay i hope uh, it was uh, useful in our next video we shall discuss synthetic theory of evolution thank you for watching